What's up guys, back for another Schnuckles video. So today's video is about a toy that I got for my 10th birthday. It's called the Shashibo. And I think it's called a Shashibo because it's because it's, it's people sometimes call it a shape shifter box. So it's like a Shashibo. Shashibo. So that's why it's called Shashibo. I'm pretty sure that's why. So let's go ahead and check out this thing. It's it's about the size of a Rubik's Cube. It's pretty light. When I first saw it, I thought it would be like kind of heavy, like maybe like a metal thing, because it turns out it has something like I think 26 rare earth magnets in it. So it actually like clamps together like this, like that. So it's pretty cool. So you can make 71 different shapes with this. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and try and open this up. So this is a shape that looks pretty cool. I think it's called a star. So once you first open up the cube, like, so when the cube is like this, you can open, you can put your, you can, you can open it like on the corner and then open this. So that's the easiest shape you can get a star. And then when the star, you can take this apart and make this into a whatever this is called i don't really know what the name of the shape is i think it's something like a 2d because it's a 2d optical illusion maybe like three cubes it act if you place it at a single angle it actually looks like three cubes so that's pretty cool and if you when you take this three cube three 2d three three cube thing you can turn it into like a ball kind of it's kind of like a what's it called like it has a bunch of sides but it's like a ball i really like playing with this because it's kind of satisfying to it's really satisfying when the magnets clamp together like and you can even see that it's hollow inside so yeah another cool shape is the triangle so it doesn't really look like a triangle right now but whenever you do this it clamps into a triangle but this right now the edge of this the corners are like a galaxy star type thing and when you flip it over it turns the edges and said turn to the fireworks. There are four colors and designs in this cube. One is the, like, I forgot what it's called. I think it's something like a tie dye. Like when you, like you spray paint a box with some water and then put a shirt in or a shoe and it comes out that color. So this is something like that. It's pretty swirly and everything. And then this is the next uh, design. So it's like purplish, it's pretty swirly and it's like copies of the same thing on each one. So it looks like kind of a mirror. And then we have the galaxy star type thing. And then we have, I think what's called fireworks. They look like fireworks. So yeah. Of course, like I said, there are 71 shapes you can turn this into. Of course, I don't know all the shapes. Maybe we can do something like this. Oh, this is cool. I mean, not really, but... Oh, cool, I made it into another shape, I'm pretty sure. I know about like 10 shapes, so it's, it looks like... Kind of looks like a cube right here, right? But on the other side, you'll see this. So that's pretty cool. So there's 71 shapes. Of course, I don't know all of them. Let's see if we can try and make this into a different shape. Ooh, made it into another shape. This is kind of weird. 
So you see this over here. You see this tie-dye, whatever it's called thing. I forgot what it's called. Um, it's a, it, it's not really an even shape. It's kind of just a random 3D thing. Let me try making it back into a cube. Some people say it's actually hard to make it back into a cube. I actually learned how to solve it in like in like less than a day. It's actually if you want to solve it, it's not really that fun. It's fun if you experience all the different shapes. If you solve it, you can turn it back into a cube. You can turn it to any shape that you want. So I'm gonna turn it back into a cube right now. So yeah. It feels like plastic, it's pretty light. And it makes a clamping sound whenever it's closed and that's kind of satisfying. The stickers are pretty durable, but but sometimes if you if you go just a little rough, not so rough, but just a little rough, you might get some rips like right right over here. But the thing that the, they say that you shouldn't actually force it. If you go with the flow, it's easier and you can just turn it to any shape. If you're forcing it, you're probably doing it wrong. So, yeah. So, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 62 trillion. I know it's little, but I'm trying to start small and slowly work my way up. So, if you subscribe, that's great. And if you want, also leave a like too, because that would be amazing. And also share the video so I get more subs. Bye.